Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie. We absolutely adore this man. And there's a brand new movie on stand right now, The Portable Door. If you love your Harry Potter, if you love your Fantastic Beasts, you need to see this movie. Kate, you went and saw it the other day with me. I did. I took my daughter to, uh, to see it. She absolutely loved it. Yeah, well, these two star in the film. It is the magnificent Sam Neill and Patrick Gibson. Fitzy and Whipper, how lovely to see. And poor Kate, stuck in... <laughs> In the studio with those idiots. <laughs> what a pity. My heart it's a, goes out for you. It's a really bad start. I know, and you know what, Sam? I've only just recently started. I've come from another show with two idiots, and now I'm on this one with yeah, two idiots. You're starting to make it sound like Nova's full of idiots, no. Kate. <laughs> <laughs> but it makes me stronger, so thank you yeah. for noticing. Can we talk to Patrick first? Patrick, we've had a long relationship with Sam over the years, and we're a little bit worried. Did he look after you on the filming of The Portable Door? Because he has been known to be quite violent sometimes. Is he okay with you? I mean, I don't know if it's getting any better with time. I think things are still, yeah, he's still sort of the same the same Sam you guys would have known, unfortunately. Can I bring something up? We're sure we want to talk about the portable door, but we were on a flight not long ago uh, to LA, and uh, I don't like flying, Sam, and I'd, I'd taken a little bit of medication and had a drink, and I decided to watch a movie. And anyway, I was kind of dropping in and out of the film, but I woke up to a moment of this film where you're in your white underpants, there's a sheep in a bath, and I think you were a ram in the bath and you were scrubbing its plums, and I thought, I don't know if it's the medication or Sam's in his undies scrubbing the plums of a giant ram. I think I may have taken Viagra. <laughs> and you now like flying. It's extraordinary. I can't wait to get in another aeroplane. <laughs> what movie was that? What was that? Rams. What's that? It's awesome. Oh, wow. It's grabbing the plums. Yeah, but you, oh, oh, God, you should have seen the swingers on this big ram. Oh. <laughs> you oh, plums. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. It's been a great yeah, chat. So we've got time for. <laughs> no, Patrick, you are working with a couple of legends there in Sam Neill and Christoph Waltz. When you got this part, you must have been over the moon. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't believe it. It was, uh, I think I heard pretty last minute that it was it was going to be these guys and uh, it was honestly such a dream, oh, apart from on, the it violence. Was, it was a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, yeah. Christoph is, a, is a, an incredible actor and he usually does play, he's, I mean, kind of quirky, sometimes nuts yeah. um, and you think he wants to kill you. Mm. Is, he, um, is he fun on set? Or is he a bit like that? I kind that? of thought he wanted to kill me some of the time. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was. He looked grim whenever I came near him. But but <laughs> he'd been stuck in quarantine for two weeks. Oh. So he was a little bit grumpy initially, but he warmed up, yeah. didn't he? Oh, yeah. Sam, are you getting closer to a superhero role here? I know you've played Odin as an Asgardian actor as well in Thor. Are you working your way up? Have you spoken to Taika Waititi? Could you be close <laughs> to getting your own role soon? I'm not sure what sort of superpower I could, you, what, would, what would you like to endow I, me with? I, I think your ability, your superpower to squash grapes and then put it in a bottle uh, <laughs> is extraordinary, like the magical power of two paddocks or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, that's a very good idea. But it, And it's the sort of thing that would you know, go down well in the, in the Marvel Universe. <laughs> I don't have any real ambitions in the Marvel world. Do you want to be in the Marvel world? I mean, I'll just, I'll don't see take what they give me at this stage. Yeah. yeah. All the Marvels. Are... I can't say no. <laughs> Beggars can't Marvel. be choosers. <laughs> would you like to be able to fly or, or to be miniaturized? Yeah, the miniature would be good crack. I'll tell you what would be a superpower, would to know which planet you're on in a Marvel film. Right. Or just know what's going on. Yeah. Oh, no one knows that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Patrick, you would be at the stage, I would think, where maybe you'd be considered for the next Bond, which is always discussed. You've been working out since we... Uh... A little bit, yeah. I did. Well, I played a pirate, which... Uh, ah, yeah. okay. Topless pirate. Well, it was, I was topless for, topless for a little oh, bit. Yeah, that's yeah. hot. Yeah, yeah. That's hot. yeah it, was, it was a kind of a hot pirate, as hot as I could play. A hot pirate? <laughs> a sexy Not pirate. Not one with the missing teeth and, and an eye. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Oh, I'm a, a sexy yeah. pirate. Patrick, have you <laughs> received a copy of Sam's book? Did I ever tell you this? Because we haven't yet. We're still waiting for it. We wait by the reception every day to get one. Still hasn't <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> 
just did. I actually, I went to the bookshop yesterday. I bought, I had to buy two. My mum wanted one signed. I had to buy one for myself. Yeah. And it's about 40 quid, which I haven't read it yet. I'm sure that's worth every penny. It's expensive. Yeah, that it? was 80 quid on, on the books there. Your mother will be very, very thankful. She will be. I reckon you can claim that. I mean, you've got some phenomenal stories. The Sean Connery submarine story. Can you give us a little bit of that, okay. Sam? You know, they were shown on a submarine, but <laughs> the great thing about that was they took us on a real nuclear submarine for a weekend. Wow. Not many people in this country can say that. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an expert. But we did have a mayor of one large US city. I'm not allowed to say who he was because mm. we were all given a, 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 a turn at the controls. We got to, wow. you know, steer, steer a nuclear submarine. This is fantastic. Were you nervous? I wasn't nervous at all. In fact, I stared us to safety. <laughs> but this particular mayor sort of had a freak out and plunged us into a into a dive. Oh we were God. a nose dive towards the, the, the bottom of the Pacific. Yeah. He was actually frozen on the joystick or whatever they call it. And an ordinary seaman had to come and actually wrestle him off that. Oh my wow. God. And he pulled us out of the dive. It could have been a nasty accident at the bottom of the sea and I would have never been heard of again and that would have been the, the, the end of the American nuclear submarine program. <laughs> and your Marvel career. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You're looking amazing, sir. It is yeah. so good to see you again. And Patrick, I'm, I'm glad you got to spend some time with this great man. We've had some great chats over the years. We always love getting him in. Is there a message for Mr. Brown if he's listening right now? I know he likes to listen to the show, Sam. Brian Brown? Turn up your radio, Brian, because you're, de <laughs> you're deafer than ever. <laughs> I'm, I'm learning sign language to, to indicate what a prick he is. <laughs> the Stan original Let's film, that one up. The <laughs> Portable Door at premieres April 7th, only on Stan, in select cinemas now as well. Sam, Neil, Patrick, Gibson, love you boys. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Thanks, guys. Thank it's you. nice to see you. I'm Jeez. so pleased I didn't have to come into the studio and drink your terrible coffee again. <laughs> <laughs> Always leaving on a positive note. Thanks, Sam. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie. Nova.